Two years ago, she was attacked by a pack of wild dogs. Ziki was one of the strays I uh, was feeding every day. Back then, she had a litter of uh, kittens. And she was coming to the feeding spot from the place she had hidden her kittens. On her way, she was attacked by the dogs. Her neighbor came over and told me there is an injured cat outside. I went outside, I found her under a car. She was in a very bad shape and I took her to the vet. Zeki was kind of stuck with me. The thing was that Zeki was fertile like all her life and now she was depending on humans. She didn't want to be touched and also Zeki wasn't able after the attack to, to control her pee and poop. So that was challenge. No, that wasn't a challenge. That was a nightmare because we had to, to bath her like several times a day. And yeah, but fortunately, uh, that situation got better by time. At first, I wasn't thinking uh, to adopt her because uh, I didn't have the space and I didn't have any experience. I didn't know what to do and how to care about an animal with uh, her disability. But afterwards, I can say that I'm glad it uh, turned out that way. Ziki is like every other cat. She sleeps, eats and plays in repeat. The only different thing is that she needs diaper changes every four to five hours. That is something that needs to be done uh, regularly uh, because otherwise she can really get a serious skin rash. She doesn't know how to cuddle. She wants to and she will come near you. She even will try to get on you but there is no touching. You are not allowed to touch her while she's cuddling. This is the rule. Cuddling without touching. Disabled animals never give up. To see them adapt in their new situation like day by day and see them keep going no matter what, I think that is a true source of inspiration.